Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install the RICO SG7100DN as a local sublimation printer on your Mac computer. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is get the ICC profile. The ICC profile can be emailed to you from anybody at support. If you do not have that email, then send an email to support at condi.com or give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2. Um, once you have the email, um, and I have the file here, I just already put it where it belongs, I'm going to open a new finder window. I'm going to click on go and go to folder. And type in a single forward slash. Now this is the same key as the question mark. I'm going to hit go, and I'm going to go into library, color sync, and then profiles. And we want to paste that file into this folder. Now for this one, it's the Rico SG7100 Ditrans SPP.ICM. Once we have that file into this folder, we're going to go download the driver file. So we're going to open Safari. I'm going to go to condi.com. We're going to log into PartnerNet. You want to put in your PartnerNet information. Log in. And once you've logged into PartnerNet, we're going to go to Printer Support, Rico Printers, 7100, Mac Drivers. Now you want to make sure you get the Mac driver that matches the OS version of your printer. Now this one actually has 10.9, which this driver actually is a 10.9 driver. So we're going to click on it to download it. I'm going to watch my downloads. Now the download time will be strictly dependent upon your internet connection. Uh, the faster your internet connection, the faster it's going to download. Alright, once the file is finished downloading, we're going to run it. All right, when this opens, we're going to run the package file inside. We're going to hit continue. We're going to continue on the license agreement, and I do have to agree. Next, it's set to install on the hard drive. If you want to make sure that's the case, then hit install. Here you're going to put in the password for your Mac. Now, on this particular Mac, there is no password, so I'm just going to hit Install Profile, or Install. All right, once this is successful, we'll hit Close. And then all we have to do is connect the USB from the printer to the computer, and it will basically install itself. Go into System Preferences, Print and Scan, and you should have the SG7100 installed. Now this one was already installed and I've already renamed it, but it will be called Rico SG7100 DN RPCS driver. Uh, or it may just be Rico Physio SG7100 DN. Regardless, you want to make sure it shows the 4.2 driver when you go. And we can go into Options and Supplies, go to Options, and if you have a bypass tray, you want to go ahead and select it. If you have an, ad an additional tray, go ahead and select it here and hit OK. Now the rest of the configuration is going to be done from our software. So I'm going to open up Photoshop Elements on this computer. And I'm just going to open a new blank document. All right, this being Elements, um, the first thing I want to do is make sure my color settings are correct, which is optimized for printing. Hit OK. And then I'm going to go File and Print. And we will want to make sure that color management settings are set up properly um, for the printer. Photoshop Elements Manages, GXC7700 Perceptual. Um, this actually will be covered under Configuring Photoshop Elements for Sublimation, uh, another video. 
for right now, I'm going to go ahead and hit print here. It's going to take me to another screen. Now on this screen, we want to make sure that we have the 7100 selected. I'm going to set this pull down to setup. I'm going to change the paper type to inkjet plain paper standard. Then I'm going to click on the arrow for image adjustment. I'm going to set dithering to use air diffusion. And we're going to make sure color profile says off. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this setup to paper feed. Um, we want to set this to auto tray select. And then I'm going to set paper feed back to layout. And I'm going to select flip horizontal. Now once that's set, I can click on the pull down and save current settings as preset. It's going to ask you for a name. We're going to type in Condi ICC. Now it's showing it already exists because I've already made it on this Mac. We'll hit OK. And it's saving over what I had, which is the same settings. Um, the next thing you can do, if you have the bypass tray, we're going to set this to paper feed. And I'm going to set this to the bypass tray. And then I'm simply going to click on presets. Save current settings as preset. And I'm going to, I'm going to name this Condi ICC Bypass. And hit OK. So now when we go to print, I have a selection between ICC and ICC Bypass. Which the only difference is the bypass tray is going to force paper from the bypass tray. Right, and at that point, you would hit print, and your image would print all in the picture. If you have any questions about this or anything else from Condi Systems, give us a call at 1-800-826-6332 or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.